Hey YouTube, it's Sonia. Welcome back. Um, so I am coming back to you to finish up the conclusion kind of to the bandeau uh, stain treat that we just did um, earlier if you watched that video. So here it is. I'm going to show you guys the um, bandeau. It came out really beautiful. Um, I didn't see any kind of color uh, discoloration in the bandeau at all after stain treating it. Um, I think it looks great. Um, so what I wanted to do in this video is just go ahead and finish up by going ahead and wrapping this or showing you guys how I wrap this around the um, handle on my pochette Matisse. So I'm going to do that in this video. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to come out great, so we're just going to go with it and hope for the best, but um, hopefully it gives you guys a general idea of how you can um, go about um, you know, using um, the Louis Vuitton bandos. So I know some people use the Hermes bandos or Twillies, and they're a little different because they're kind of, um, instead of this being straight, you know, square here, they're actually um, like diagonal, like the stitching is diagonal on the ends of those Twillies, and they are a lot thinner than the um, Louis Vuitton bandos. And not to mention these bandos are very long. So I think the Hermes ones tend to be a little bit shorter in length, which makes it a little bit easier for wrapping it around um, your handles. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And before I forget, if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit so that you guys can see a little bit better, okay? So here is the pochette and I'm going to take one of the ends. So this one again is the trunks. So on one side it's all trunks and on the other side it's the all pink. So what I want to do though is I like this Louis Vuitton right here. So I want that to stick out on one of the ends. So what I'm going to do is I am going to beat this, put this around here. And what I want to do is kind of put it, fold it in half just a little bit. And what I want to do is get enough slack so that I can um, make a knot on this end with it. So I'm going to feed it through on this end. So I have my knot and I want to try to put the knot, like the bigger part of the knot towards the bottom of the handle. So while doing that, <laughs> I need to try to work it so that this pink part stays exposed like that so that you can see the Louis Vuitton on this side. So once I have it the way I like it, then I'm just going to tighten it down. And then now I'm actually just going to wrap this whole bandeau around the handle once. Okay. And I'm just going to continue to wrap the handle. And I'm going to leave probably like a half inch in between wraps because like I mentioned this bandeau is really long so I think for a bandeau it's pretty pretty long um, and I can already kind of see that this knot here isn't exactly underneath my handle so I'll have to probably fix that uh, a little later but just so that um, you know this video for the sake of this video it's not extremely too long um, I just want to show you guys really quick how you can tie this so uh, while you're wrapping this just make sure that um, it is that you're pulling on it so that the wraps are tight. So we're going to keep the wraps on this a little tight and you can see it's still really long so I'm still continuing to wrap. So you can see I kind of have a really pretty um, overlapping going on with the bandeau here. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get towards the end here. So it's going to start, so the only good thing is this is going to get thicker on this end because of the knot here. And then this one, so now for this end, I'm going to hold out the other pink. So I'm kind of going to have to make a knot here on the end with this one. So I'm going to hold this with one finger. So I overlapped it over my finger, if you guys can see that. And now I'm going to feed this other end through that little knot, okay, and 
then we just need to tighten it. So tighten down the knot a little and then we can kind of, you can fix the overlapping with your fingers so that the bandeau looks a little tighter. Okay. So, didn't come exa out exactly. However, so I mean it might take you guys a few tries um, so you can see kind of like on this end how it's just a tad bit longer than this side so I will probably um, after you know we're done with the video uh, take it apart again and kind of fix it so that this side or is well actually I kind of like the length on this because the only thing is when you're wearing the strap I just don't want it to go you know hit the hit the bandeau so I think what we can do so let me undo this knot really quick What we can do is maybe go back over some of the um, overlapping so it won't be exactly the one inch or half inch overlaps but I think it'll be okay and then let's do this again and let's feed this through so all I did was I just moved back the last overlap here on the edge, on the end I mean. So it's still going to be a little bit long, but it looks better. Okay, and then you can just kind of pull on these to kind of loose or to um, kind of work it back a little bit. So there it is. That looks a little bit better. Still a little bit long on this side, but I think you guys get the general idea. But there it is. So there is my um, pochette Matisse with the bandeau that we just stain treated or that I just stain treated. I guess you kind of stain treated it with me since you were watching my video. Um, so anyway, so there, hopefully you guys, um, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and shout out to my subby um, who requested um, how to tie the um, po the Louis Vuitton bandeau onto the pochette matisse handle so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe my video and or to my channel sorry and I will be seeing you guys very soon. Um, I have a couple more videos that I want to do for you. So I'm hoping to get those released um, sometime this weekend as well. So um, thank you and have a great uh, weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.